This is one of those 12 interesting facts, but it's all about Krithic. Krithic? Oh, well, we already know several. Oh. So there'll be like six that'll be new. Maybe. Not to us. You don't know no. if they're, they're gonna say those ones. You don't know? There's not only 12 <laughs> facts about this human being. <laughs> Welcome back to Reactions <laughs> Idiots. I'm Corbin, and this is Alexis, Ashley, Ricardo Montalban. I'm sorry. Who? You killed my father. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Rodrigo Montoya. If you are new to our channel, go and smash the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be part of the notifications. Look out, folks! Look out, Lexi. Lexi, oh. ring it. No, do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> really uneventful. <laughs> Please follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Twitter. Come on, juicy dog. So juicy. Uh, and so today, <laughs> since, uh, we've been on a, uh, a rhythmic love fest, <laughs> uh, somebody recommended us do a 12 interesting fact. We've done a few of those. Some of them are really boring. Yeah. Uh, hopefully this one is not one of those. Some of them are actually quite interesting, but, uh, we'll see how this one ends. I hope it's there's some facts we don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. obviously we know a few that he has six fingers, he had scoliosis, he uh, had, speech, speech, impediment, speech impediment, he is gorgeous, he can dance. He has a uh, unibrow. <laughs> uh, Only in one picture, Corbin. But, uh, we'll wow. see how it is. <laughs> Episode of Empty Facts. My name is Lou Rickett, and uh, we got an yep. awesome episode about the Bollywood actor Hrithik Roshan. What's and it's just name? me, but like I Hrithik? swear this guy looks no. exactly like the Hollywood actor Bradley Cooper. What? Hrithik no. is a bit more Bollywood. He looks more Bollywood. like you. <laughs> Roshan is known for his acting, but as well as his dancing, his commitment towards health and fitness, as well as he's known for being an awesome dad. Aww. And here are 12 facts that you need to know. Also, thanks to everybody that requested for us to do a video on Hrithik Roshan. Stop what? saying it like that! It's really <laughs> annoying me. Roshan, he was born on the 20th of January, 1974, and currently he's 43 years old. He was born in Mumbai, India, to a Punjab family of Bollywood personalities. The background However, Hrithik like Roshan it. isn't the name he was actually born with. Dubu oh. is his nickname, and his official name is Hrithik Rakesh Nagra. Back in 1980 was when he made his first on-camera appearance. Wow. He was just six years old, and he was casted as an extra in a dance sequence for the movie. The Asha. And you know, for that, he got a hundred rupees. Yeah, check him out at six years old making his first paycheck. Well, Man, he used that money to buy ten Hot Wheels cars, and that helped ignite his passion for cars. Now, here's a pretty interesting one. Did you know that he was born with an extra thumb on his right yes, hand? Yes, we did. Um, he said because of this, he felt very isolated as a child, and you know, the kids around his age would make fun of him. It followed him up to his adulthood, because even after he started acting in films, he was very, very conscious about this, and he didn't want his right hand to be filmed. But today, of course, he's overcome it. Now he's a lot more confident, and he says that he sees it as a sign of good luck. But with that said, that leads us to this episode's question. And I want to know from you guys, have you ever been made fun of? If so, never. what were you made fun of? Of course not. Let me know your stories down there. I understand how people can be like super mean, but I'm just telling you, who cares what people think of you? Like, honestly, is this a fact? I've been made fun it's of just for the fact that I am black. Like, and that's not even a deformity. But who cares what they say? That doesn't change who you it's are. And since we're on the topic of having problems as a kid and getting made fun of, Hrithik Roshan actually had another big problem. He had a stammering problem since he was a child, and in order to combat this, he had to take speech lessons. And today, you wouldn't even know he had that problem like because he's seen him in interviews. He's very eloquent. <laughs> now because of this, he's started a speech therapy institution to help people with similar well, problems. I'm sure it's a major decision which any of us can take. It takes you three seconds. One, two, 
I am a superhero. Bring it on. But the issue is do not stop there for this man. Okay, so at the age of 19, he was actually diagnosed with scoliosis. And for those of you who don't know what scoliosis is, it's a medical condition where the spine has a sideways curve. So the doctors told him to stop dancing, but he didn't let that stop him. After a year of being diagnosed, he went on a jog on a beach one day, and he started to run faster and faster and faster, and he became more confident. And from there, he became so determined to prove the doctors wrong, and he believed in his <laughs> mind that there would be no pain. Hirtik Roshan calls that a turning point in his oh, life. Now, originally, Hirtik Roshan was scheduled to make his big screen debut as Western. a lead actor in a film alongside Preeti Zinta, but that film was cancelled. He instead starred in his father's romantic drama, Kaho Na Pyar Ha. And that was in the year 2000, alongside Amisha Patel. And for this film, things got pretty intense. So to prepare for his role, he trained very extensively to bulk up with fellow Bollywood actor Salman Khan. Salman. And we all know how buff he is. And that movie became hey, such a huge success that it became the highest grossing Indian film in music. the year 2000. This movie, Hrithik Roshan received the Best Male Debut and the Best Actor Awards at the Annual Filmfare Awards, the IFA Awards, and the Z City Awards. From there, he became the first actor to win both Filmfare Best Debut and Best Actor Awards in the this same year. Now, so as you can tell from this episode, problem is it. something that Hrithik Roshan is no stranger to. It's like an Another video problem here. in his life: smoking. After failing five times to quit, he finally overcame the habit. He was once a chain smoker, but he gave up smoking after reading a book called The Easy Way to Stop Smoking by Alan Carr. He bought 50 copies of the book and gave them all to his smoking friends so that they can quit as well. His movie Kaho Na Pyar Hai, which won 102 awards in total, was entered into the Lim Cup Book of World Records in 2003 for winning the Looks most like number of awards music. won yeah, by damn. any Bollywood film. Now back in the year 2000 on Valentine's Day, Hrithik Roshan reports that he received upwards to 30,000 marriage proposals from his fans. I <laughs> like Corbin. And the it's girls true. were like, I need to marry this man. And guys, if you love her the grow chat, let me know by hitting the like button on this video. Damn, that's a lot of likes. Now, I'm not sure how many of you know about this one, but he actually contemplated quitting his acting career for good. This is after the mafia attacked his father, and that took a toll on him mentally. What the heck? He went on, and now he's seen a lot of huge success. Speaking of success, Hrithik Roshan, he's the fifth Bollywood celebrity after Amitabh Bachchan, Ashwarya Rai, Shah Rukh Khan, and Salman Khan to get his very own statue at the Bollywood really Sand Wax Museum in London. The statue's look had been inspired from his appearance in the movie Doom 2. So who? Just take my life, just break my heart. Although Hitler Rosha and he practices Hinduism, he doesn't identify himself as a very religious man and he doesn't go to temples. However, he does wish for a higher superpower. And just like that, that wraps up another episode of FTD Facts. I hope you guys learned something new. If Was that last fact that he wishes for a superpower like he wants to be a Marvel Avenger? I don't know. I mean, don't we all? I completely didn't get that last point, but that's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's, that's crazy that the mob attacked his, his mafia. mafia. Yeah, that is not his father. Just gonna clarify. Yeah, that's yeah, really that's insane, insane though. Uh, I, I also, I gotta tell you, when I hear that background music, oh, that's what I want to think of. Is this is the Groshan. I'm not gonna let this be another piano thing. Shut up. <laughs> I will cut you. <laughs> but yes, that was. Uh, he's uh, he's good looking. <laughs> That was interesting. Yeah, I mean, some of the facts we did not know. That's true. We did. Yeah, most of them. Yeah, that's cool. And it just underscores that all we ever hear about the guy is that he's a great guy. Yeah, that's. Seems pretty cool. It is crazy that he was born with two thumbs. That is. It is wild. The fact that we never saw. I know. That's that's very telling in that he's just so captivating that something like that that should be so obvious. Can't even see the second. Never even. Notice that. Well, it's because yeah. why would you take your eyes off of his face? <laughs> he's just he's so beautiful that's to look, look at. Um, he does <laughs> not look like Bradley Cooper. No, he though, doesn't at all. all. No, yeah, that's no. that's a weird comparison. That's a very no. strange I comparison. I it's just because they both have people. pretty eyes, but they're not even the same eyes. No, no. I think of Matt Bomber more than. Hmm. 
Bradley Cooper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his, his physicality has always reminded me. Just because, like, I did think it was weird. I think y'all missed it. That when they compared him to Bradley thing, Cooper, he said he's like Bradley Cooper, but he's more Bollywood. Like what? Well, so it's kind of racist, but okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> No, he physically, and because he's got a, he's a, a song and dance guy, he reminds me a lot. The person he reminds me the most of is Hugh Jackman. He has this, yeah. this charming charisma about him. Yeah. yeah and it seems in his heart, because all I've ever heard from anyone who's worked with Hugh Jackman is the guy is just gold. He's just yeah. a sweetheart. He's a family man. Mm -hmm. He's got a great worth ethic. Worth ethic. Worth ethic. He's got a great worth ethic. Yeah, he's got a wonderful worth ethic. And that's what I hear the same thing about him. Yeah. So that was great. Let us know what facts were wrong like you always do because apparently and, there's always some. And any new ones that we don't know about. Yes. We love facts. <laughs> and all of you proposing to Corbin, put it in the comments there. <laughs> <laughs>